London is a community energy project that was set up in 2014 um, by three local transition town groups. We're a group of local residents that are really passionate about tackling climate change. They hadn't done anything specific to energy up to the point, so they organised a big meeting and out of that a group of people arrived uh, that wanted to do something for the community and particularly focusing on energy and installation of solar panels. We think that it's going to be, or I think it's going to be the issue that sort of defines this generation, how we respond to the threat of climate change. We need to sort of literally take the power back, give the power back to communities to combat climate change and bring all the other benefits and opportunities that can come with that as well. We got in touch with St Anne's Church at an event that was run by Camden Council and um, I think initially there's an appetite from the vicar here, Father Andrew, to, to, to combat climate change as well. He's got a lot of shared values with us. There's a strong green contingent in the, the local constituency here, so a lot of people are very pro renewable energy and green energy, and it's a, it's a view shared by the church. St Anne's was the first um, organisation that we spoke to um, that really just kind of got what we were doing and were really excited by it and there just didn't seem to be any kind of hesitation. They just kind of said, yeah, sure, we want to look at this. And I've always felt that uh, it was important to think about the way that we treat our planet as we only have the one. And um, so when we heard from Power Up North London that they were looking for somewhere to put a solar panel, um, I was really keen to encourage um, Father Andrew, the vicar here, and the PCC to consider it seriously. We had explored putting up a solar panel earlier, uh, but had come to the conclusion that it was not really possible for us to go through the quite complicated process as a congregation. And so to have a group of people offering to take that burden on uh, made it feasible for us, basically. The planning application was probably the period that took longest to do and was most challenging. For this particular installation, obviously it's on a Grade 2 listed church in a conservation area, so that had its own, um, its own challenges. We started off when we submitted the planning application being told there's absolutely no way that you're going to be able to put solar on a Grade 2 listed church. Um, but we actually delved into it a bit deeper. Um, it, we had the help of a local councillor, Sean Berry, who kind of had a look at the planning guidelines and said well actually the planning guidelines say you need to weigh up heritage impact against social and environmental benefit. We also kind of demonstrated to them that you really can't see the panels uh, from the heath. They were concerned that you could see it because you can see the spire really clearly but actually you can't see the slopes at all. Then is when I think the value of the community group came in because we were doing a big campaign and a big talking exercise with the people of the community. Once there was sort of a, an agreement within the council, the local authority and the community that this was beneficial in terms of sustainability, they gradually changed their minds and said yes. And I think well done to them for having the vision to say yes, this should go ahead. What also happened in that challenge of going through the planning application is that we were able to uh, asked the community to comment on the planning application in support and actually we were able to get over a hundred people in the community to throw their weight behind the planning application and that meant we really built some momentum to bring people along on the journey with us when we actually uh, asked them for funding in the community share offer that followed that. And one of the problems is very often churches across the country don't have enough money to be able to put in the capital funding at the beginning to make such a project happen and so the sort of partnership that we've had with Power Up North London may well make it possible for this sort of project to happen more readily in other places. We did a community share offer um, earlier in the year and we raised £30,000 from uh, within our community. I think community energy is really able to excite people about this triple bottom line of impact that not many projects can offer. So um, we gave our investors 2% uh, return and the church also get 50% discount on their bills. Um, from a financial perspective, environmentally we're generating enough energy to power five homes from the church um, through clean energy from the sun and uh, we've also brought the community together. Joju Solar, well they were joy, of course. <laughs> Working with Joju was great, they've been so supportive um, from the start of the project from giving us the sort of desktop feasibility study right at the start all the way through they've really been a sort of really supportive partner. Joji were absolutely fantastic. They kind of, they helped us out from day one really. We've been talking to them for so long um, and they're very patient with us because it was taking us probably a lot longer than other people they would have worked with because we'd never done something like this before. Um, they were really helpful in terms of actually 
um, putting in the planning application, making sure that we had a, a kind of an application and a project that looked the best that it could um, in terms of recommending the best panels and they do look absolutely brilliant. One of the reasons why this has been successful is because of the a strong relationship that we managed to build. When it came to the uh, installation itself, um, I know they were really sort of flexible, adaptable to our uh, our timings with it being quite a tight timeline at the end of the project and yeah, it's been brilliant. I suppose we are proud, yeah. It, it's, um, it, it's one of those things that we've been hoping to happen for a long time, um, the idea of doing community energy. We finally got some panels up and we're really delighted. I think the the way I feel about the solar panels is that it's a very easy way to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that we're putting into the atmosphere. Uh, the sun is there, the roof of the church is there, all you need to do is get a solar panel on it um, and you get some electricity. Energy used to be something that was just kind of done to you and you didn't really have much say over it. Um, renewable energy especially means that now anyone can kind of come together by partnering with Power Up North London on this project. It was one way of us setting an example, not just locally, but across London and nationally, of the sort of lead that the church should be taking in renewable energy, and particularly in the use of solar panels. We've got a huge amount of um, doing this project ourselves, um, feeling part of a solution, and it's sort of something that people often say, but feeling part of a solution to a big problem. But we've really been able to develop uh, ourselves as people and our expertise through working on this project. I've always thought that in terms of renewable energies solar panel is, is the most potentially the most significant contribution that we can make. Our generation has an extraordinary opportunity to make the planet survive rather than go under. The planet of course will be fine it's the people on it and the animals on it and the plants on it who are in danger. Um, and I, for one, feel really proud to have done this very small step um, to looking after God's earth. We can share with you our experience and, and the wisdom that we've gained to help you find a way through um, trying to do something similar in your own church, in your own place.